Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all over. Then make my way down to your... Get your hands up, Pep. Give the Anarch community my regards. Their zeal is admirable, but their ideas impractical for a society that must maintain secrecy and organization to stem its own genocide from coming about. I don't suppose they told you this is the only so-called free state that hasn't folded? No? Imagine that. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. And remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. The kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. So it has. Yes, I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One, I believe, may be in one of the local museums. I have not yet searched them all. The other, I believe, to be in the Giovanni's possession, though I have not confirmed it. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. A fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it, for they will make sure you never have another.
baby girl. Outstanding. Pass it here, girl. Yeah, that's beautiful. Everything looks in order. <laughs> Somebody somewhere got to be pissed off by losing this. <laughs> Too bad I sent my main girl here after him. <laughs> All right. Let me peel off a few bills for you. I'll just drop this off to the new owner in the morning. Then I'm gonna get me a big old steak. Not that domestic stuff neither. I'm gonna order up 32 ounces of Kobe beef, the expensive shit. You won't come? My treat. Check it out, check it out, step right up. Baby girl, you know I got what you need. Koala ears, lazy eye hammocks, and dwarf saddles right here. Oh, oh man, got a Galapagos turtle this week only. Yo, 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 I got dinosaur eggs. We don't know what kind. Buy them and hatch. Yo, 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 I got dinosaur eggs. We don't know what kind. Buy them and hatch. Yo, 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 I got dinosaur eggs. We don't know what kind. Buy them and hatch. Yo, yo, yo. Koala ears, lazy eye hammocks, and dwarf saddles right here, only here. Get away from my stuff. You got any what? chance? Get away from me! Leave me alone! <coughs> oh, you do? Well... Believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just 
Get away! Ah, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Anybody got a menorah? Crab nipple this and crab nipple that and yeah. <coughs> Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you, Betty? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, miss. Would you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? <laughs> Thank you much. <laughs> have to go pick up some hooch <laughs> for medicinal purposes you know <laughs> now I know you ain't going to believe old Bill because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened and people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more it was a monster you see monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes, piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before, still giving me bad dreams. He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <laughs> oh, God, the smell. Worse than anything I've... And then he bit me. My neck. Oh, God. It was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <coughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. the sewers he did. Just around the corner there. <coughs> Don't want to go back to the bad place, friend. <coughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there.
you. Following the smell of entrails and rotting flesh. Looking for a free meal, little bloodsucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot-ripped mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. The Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> the doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss, the terrible Mysteries of the Ninth Circle. They are the weak, sick, hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. Come, join the disciples who have gathered here. Floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh!
Did you see it? He done tore him up, right in two, ripped him apart like a rag doll. These two guys, the dead guy, another, and well, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Oh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late. So the one guy leaves, you find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, that's when the killer, that's when he showed up. The dead feller called him Muddy. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I'd like to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The, the dead guy went white like he seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The, the killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. No, he never come back. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. <laughs> Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. What is it you would like to know?
can. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Said he thought he'd get over it. Men are stubborn that way. This proves the plague bearer's gotta be found. Got it. Keep it up. Yeah? That goddamn blood witch told you what? He thinks we're responsible for that plague bearer? If I hadn't promised Nines I'd keep my nose clean, I'd go over right now and rip him a new wizard shoot. Magic missile casting motherfucker! What? Yeah, I've seen this. Pretty sure I've seen it around here somewhere. One of the buildings, I think. What's up, sister? You enlightened? I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. The Bishop will see you upstairs. Did you get summoned? You're going up upstairs to see the bishop. You're n new to the Brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened. I, I've been here a few days. <laughs> when the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned, and then you go up these um, these stairs up to the the t temple. I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend snuck up there a few days ago. She said she saw things, bad, bad things. Yeah. Blood. She said, um, b -b blood everywhere. She um she saw a few of the summoned to try to uh oh to talk to them, but they just just stared at her with these um. These woo blank looks, you know. No, one of them uh, started reaching for her, and she she ran away. Yeah, yeah. I know. The, the, the bishop said we have to shed our um our uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the to the ninth circle but I'm, I'm scared to go upstairs I I just uh, I just I just want to go home you know I want to go home
sister. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? Well, you have come to the right place, sister. We've got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, sister? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. <coughs> Disease. Sister, you've got to open your mind. One man's disease is another man's sanctity. Here among the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle, we have shared these earthly labels. Come, partake of our divine communion. Gehenna, Judgment Day. <coughs> <coughs> the apocalypse, oh, again, sister. You are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason. No all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What God watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, sister. There is no God who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become God. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. Until we have all journeyed below into the Ninth Circle. The time for words has come and gone, my sister. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest.
You killed all of them? You. <laughs> so I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Pammy. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression I've gone soft. Somebody in this joint's gotta lack the restraint to keep their mouth shut. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. You have? Impressive, young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? Tell me of this so-called bishop. Ah, I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business. I have a debt to pay you for your services. If you so desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. A wise choice, Neonate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. You have done well. Your status is much raised here at the Chantry. Perhaps you might have a place here with us sometime in the future. Of course. What is it you would like to know?
Um. I've never seen you in here before. There you are. Finished yet? What? Yeah, I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Boris. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? Really, I'd love to hear them, but I've got to go find a new DJ. Our old one's still spinning that pixie wave magic 80s redux electronica so last Friday. Heaps of thanks again. Money, right? Come back in a few nights. I'll have another ward for you. I don't see enough sitting out there!